Alright, so the first thing you want to do is go to an existing working phone and we're just going to see what the subnet is. So I'm going to hit the menu key and just go down to status and down to network and I use these directional pads and the check mark is the OK. I'm going to go ahead and select the TCP IP parameters and I just want to take note of this subnet, uh, the gateway, and down to the two DNS servers. So if you take note of those, uh, every office should be the same as within that office. So Gillette is a little bit different subnet than uh, Evans. And to set up uh, a new phone, what we do is start by unwrapping the contents of one of the Polycom boxes and go ahead and roll these phones over, placing them face down. And I'm going to start by uh, plugging in some cords here. Uh, the first cord I plug in is uh, going to go in this LAN port here. And so from LAN, this will connect to the wall. Uh, the next one is not going in on this current phone, but if this phone is acting as a switch between the data and the voice, you would plug a cord into the phone, or sorry, the PC, and from the PC, that's going to go to the user's workstation. Next, I'm going to plug into the handset with the coiled cord for the handset. Um, and then it's kind of convenient to move both of these cords to the top. Notice I didn't use the power on this one. Uh, this Evan site is without uh, the power requirements because they've got a PoE switch. So without a PoE switch, all you need, or with a PoE switch, all you really need to do is run that Ethernet cable or run over the power player. Uh, the next piece is to assemble the back. So with these tails up like that and out of the way, uh, you can see there's a little ridge there that fits nicely into this slot. And you just push it down and click in to snap it all together. Uh, you can pull these apart by rolling them over and putting one hand in the corner and just ripping this back. Uh, it takes a little bit of pressure and it feels a little bit awkward. Alright, from here you can plug into a light that's on. So you give it a second, it will flash. Now from here you're going to want to calibrate the phone, so we're going to push the start uh, setup button. The password is here is 456. Okay. And you're going to want to change the DHCP client from enabled to disabled. Uh, you see the list of these phone IP addresses. Uh, if you ever need any help, you can always send a, send a ticket to support at ip5380.com. And they'll be able to run you a list of what's currently accessing your edge mark. Uh, that's the router that they use to control the voice quality and traffic tracking. So from here, I will put in the IP addresses. Subnet, the gateway, yep. and go down to one of the DNS servers. And the trick is remember to push the OK to start the editing. Here, show you a reboot, and I'll save, update, and then it takes about 5 to 10 minutes for the phone to come back online.